What's up, my Big Mac snack wraps? It's your boy, the Mickey 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 Mac, and welcome to another show. On today's show, is going to be a little different. We're not eating today. Today is a day that I tell you guys just how much I've made from YouTube with my first YouTube check. Um, a very exciting moment for me. It happened on the 21st of October, um, which was Monday. Um, very exciting day for me. Um, it really let me know that this was real, that I'm an actual YouTuber, and there is money to be made. So we're going to go over a few things in this um, episode. Um, I hope you guys stick around. I'm going to give you guys the exact number that I made, my first check number, like how much I made, um, how many views it took me to get there to make that amount, and watch hours and all that stuff. And also I'm going to sounds going on over there. Um, I'm also going to give you guys some tips on how to make your YouTube successful. So let's get into it. Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, the first thing I'm going to go into is a couple of tips on how to make yourself and your YouTube successful so you could get paid as well. Um, tip number one is just start. Just start your YouTube channel. It's never going to be a perfect time to start the now, right now. You sitting at home all day anyhow. <laughs> I'm just playing, um, but maybe you are. Um, when I started YouTube, I was out on injury for my job. Um, I was a custodian. I heard myself doing some custodial work. Um, so I was out on injury. Um, a little bit of depression kicked in because I wasn't able to continue to live my life how I was prior to being injured. Um, I still, I'm still not 100% recovered. So, yeah. But, I saw a video with Be Love, and she said the same thing I'm telling you guys right now. Just start. It's never going to be a perfect moment. You're never going to have everything right. You just have to go for it. And that's exactly what I did. Um, and it helped me get out of my depression and my funk that I was in. Um, so yes, I just started. All I had was this this iPhone, which is the iPhone 6 Plus. I still have it. Um, and that's what I started recording with. Um, yeah, that was my, I've, I've told the story before. That was my camera and I didn't have a tripod. I wedged my camera in between a letter holder to hold it up. And if you go back to my first couple of videos, that's what I had. And then up until I had an unboxing video that shows when I get my tripod, but that's what I had. Um, my hair wasn't cut in my first couple of videos. I was looking wild, um, but I just went for it. I said, if I keep waiting for the day to be perfect, it'll never come. So if you want to start a YouTube, whether it be mukbangs, um, makeup channel, hair channel, cooking channel, you want to do pranks, you want to sing, you want to do acting skits and stuff like that. Start now. Start now. Start today. If you have a phone, there's a will and there's a way. If you have phone and internet, internet access, there's a will and there's a way. Or if you have a camera, that's even better. But start now. All right. Tip number two. Get familiar with YT Studio which is YouTube Studio. Um, and get familiar with studying the analytics of everything. Watching your um, watch hours and watch minutes, um, audience engagement, and things of that nature. Uh, make sure you're putting the proper tags in your videos. Um, some tags um, help your analytics a little better than others. So, you know, the big thing right now is seafood boils and um, stuff like that. So if you could tag Seafood Boil in your video, it might help with your analytics. And there's a couple of other um, keywords that will help analytics, especially if you're a mukbanger. If you're not a mukbanger, um, maybe Seafood Boil may not help you. But you have to find things and tags that will help you. Um, yeah, so get very familiar with YT Studio. It's an app that you could download 
or if you go online on the actual computer, it's in the um, on the YouTube site when you sign into YouTube and you upload your videos and stuff. Um, go to your little picture icon up top, click on it, and it should say Creator Studio. It's the same as YT Studio. Um, well, YT Studio is the app on your phone that you can put on there. Um, and also, I have a playlist that I made. It has um, videos that helped me out as I was doing my YouTube, creating my YouTube and getting to this point, um, how to make a thumbnail um, and different stuff like that. You guys, please go check out that playlist. If you have any questions, those videos might help. Um, it's a public playlist that I made, so go check it out on my channel. Um, yes, but please make yourself familiar with the analytics of YouTube and how it works. As of now, to get monetized, you need 4,000 watch hours, which is 240,000 minutes of watch time. And then you need at least 1,000 subscribers. So that's the criteria right now. It took me maybe nine months to be monetized. And I probably would have been monetized a little quicker, but I had took a break, I think in February, March, around there. And then come back to, I think, April or May or something like that. So, yeah, I probably would have been monetized a lot sooner. And that's another thing. Be consistent. Consistency. Um, I struggle with this. Um, but I'm trying to break it. I'm trying to stay consistent as I can. Because this is this is a business. This is my business. Um, now that I monetize, I make my money this way. Um, so, yeah, this is a business. You have to stay consistent. Treat it like a like a job or a side side gig that's very important to you. Um, if you say you want to upload every day, upload every day or every other day. But you have to keep a schedule where people know that this is your schedule that you're going to keep. Or at least try to keep. And if you cannot keep that schedule, at least voice to people like this morning. This video is a little late. But I went to my community tab and made a post about you know the video is going to come out later you have to communicate with your with your with your family your extended family which all of my snack wraps are extended family to me um but yeah okay number four i guess you would say you gotta si sign up for google adsense and sign up early um even if you just start your channel just sign up so the process can start and they'll start looking at your channel and make sure they're keeping up with um, your watch hours and stuff. Because as soon as you hit that 4,000 watch hours and your 1,000 subscribers, both of those criteria, about a couple of days to a month later, you'll be monetized. And then after that, um, you know, make sure you put in all your banking information or where they can send a check to. But just go to Google AdSense and it'll so you got to do that and I also have a video in my playlist that'll show you what to do um so yeah the way you get paid through Google AdSense is by signing up to Google AdSense um and there's other ways to make money you can make it through Google, Google AdSense sponsorships you know endorsements or different stuff like that um maybe even appearances depending on what you do um you may get some club appearances out of it you know you never know. There's so much money to be made in YouTube and it's the social media thing. Um, um, the next tip is, the next tip is an important tip that I didn't find out until maybe four months ago. You have to get with like-minded people that do the same thing you're doing. Um, in the beginning, um, I had um, a young lady who who's a mukbanger. You guys go follow her. Let's eat with Nadira, um, or it's Nadira. That's her channel now. I leave her link in the description down below. Um, she helped me out. Um, she kind of got it was me, her, G Mama's World, and the Six Howards, and we would go to different lives and you know, network with people. And she helped um, 
help me network and through this stuff. So um, you need that. You need to get with like-minded people, people that do the same thing you're doing and trying to do the same thing that's on the same level as you so you guys can feed off each other. And then um, about three, four months ago, I was um, had the pleasure of getting in contact with Sam's World and Lips and You Love Shani. That was a big turnaround for me um, because they're so, we get on these conference calls and um, we just push each other to be better. Um, we're on the conference calls and we're all watching each other's videos on a conference call at the same time. We sync up our videos and we're watching, watching it in real time with each other. Um, pointing out what we could do better, um, what we did good, and just being a support system to each other. We call each other all times of night, morning, and you need you need that kind of thing in this um, in this industry, in this uh, career choice, hobby, whatever you want to call it. Um, you need that. That is very important. So find some people that are um, on the same level as you. Maybe starting out, like if you just starting out, maybe somebody that got like ten thousand or less subscribers. Find them, or somebody that got more subscribers. If they want to give with, give with you and form like a little family like the Mukbang Bulls, I think that's a wonderful thing. So try to do that. Um, another group is Epic Empire. They're like a little Mukbang team. Um, the Sister Circle. So they, you have them in, and they're starting to grow. And it's not clicky at all because this same group of people will team up and talk with this team of people or this individual. And it's not, I haven't had a bad experience with help so far. Like everybody's very open and everybody's very transparent and everybody is willing to help one another. That's been my experience as a mukbanger. Um, you know, B-Love does a lot of challenges where she shouts people out and gets your name out there. Um, KC Connection, um, um, Steph and Tasha, Cuzzo AB, a lot of these people, they're willing to help shout you out. Dame, Flavors by Dame Dash, RDR Food Reviews, Black Hoodie, you know, these are some of the people that help me out. Miss C Corner who helped take me over a thousand, over my thousand subscribers. So, yeah. So yes, find a group that you can vibe with. Um, the next tip I have is to set goals, plan them out, and execute them. I've just now started doing this, um, where I set goals, how many subscribers I want within the next 30 days, how many views I would like to have in the next 30 days. How many uploads I would like to have in the next 30 days. Um, and then I just get to work. If I know I want to have 30 uploads within the next month, I make sure that I'm shooting every day or sometimes twice a day to stay ahead of the curve. Um, and it's always good as a content creator to have one or two in the chamber at least. Meaning if something comes up, you can you have a video that's ready to go take the place of a a video that was just recorded say you're sick you have a backup video you can put that backup video out and have content content for that day which means watch watch hours and minutes for that day views for that day maybe subscribers for that day um so yeah that's a tip and also i plan out my month in advance um, what I want to eat um, not specifically on what day but I just have a list of maybe 30 things that I would like to eat um, for the upcoming month or recipes or whatever um, plan that out um, and also get on Social Blade that goes back to the analytics and everything Social Blade so you can see how many subscribers you're getting each day how many views you're getting each day. 
Um, so YT Studio, Social Blade is some things you can sign up for that uh, really help you as a mukbanger. Those are the apps that you need. Um, and then the last tip is presentation. Now I'm still working on presentation. Um, I haven't got to the place that I want to get as far as presentation. I would love to have a beautiful background, maybe a green screen or just a like a backdrop or something behind me. But right now I just got couch, table, lights, door open, got a pillow here, got curtain, whatever's in the background. Um, it's not junky, don't look junky, I don't think, in the background, but yeah. You have some people that have really nice backgrounds. Um, your food presentation, that has to be, you don't, some people are very meticulous about their food presentation. Uh, Stephanie Sue, she has an amazing food presentation. Nikocado Avocado, um, AC Connection. Um, those are people that really have like really nice setups. Um, and there's a couple, couple of others that have really nice setups. As far as the food presentation goes, you could get that meticulous, but just make sure that like people always ask, why do I sit on the floor? Because I think it gives me the best angle as far as the food goes, because I can, um, this table is only so far from me, so I can reach the camera. Boom, I can get all up in the camera if need be, fix what I gotta fix on there. And also, I could push the food toward the camera so it looks humongous for that thumbnail. Um, and then if I go further back and push the food forward, it really looks gigantic. Um, just like, say I, put this right there and I'm in the back boom so those are tricks that I've learned as far as presentation goes um, and also your whole your whole look um, that's important um, lately I've been getting my hair cut weekly I used to get it done maybe every two to three weeks but I feel like for me to go further I have to step it up I have to I have to step on my presentation. Um, I'm wearing a little jewelry now. You know, something, something nice for y'all to look at. You know, I got my little little pinky ring, so when I do the pinkies up, just give y'all some a visual, something to look at, something to say, okay, that's that's Big Mac. That's Big Mac right there. He looking good, the food looking good, everything looking good. You know, I'm not the I'm not the hands, most handsome person most cutest person, but I'm gonna give you guys a, 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 a decent, a decent look, okay? Um, so yeah, those are my tips for being successful when starting your YouTube channel. Um, the further I get along, I'll have more tips, the more I grow, because I'm still growing. These are just the tips that have gotten me to almost 4,000 subscribers and have gotten me monetized. Um, so yes, bam, let's get into the money. Um, I got my first YouTube check on Monday. And let me break it down for y'all. So I made enough money with this first check to the point where our next video that I'm going to film for you guys is going to be a new apartment tour and a new car tour. That's what we get into. Psych. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Where I'm about to go give me a new apartment tour and have a. And we ain't there yet, but we gonna get there. Okay. So boom, I got monetized in August of this year, at the end of August. So, for the month of August, I had fifteen thousand three hundred eighty-six views, which translated to. 80, 84,056 watch minutes or 1,400 watch hours. Um, and that's for the month of August. My revenue that I made off of those 15,000 views or so was $36.63. So that's the month of August. Mind you, I was monetized toward the end of August. 
okay, so going into September, since I hadn't met my $100 threshold to getting an actual payment, um, with Google AdSense, you have to reach a $100 threshold to get paid. So before they send you any money, you have to make at least $100 um, in revenue for them to send you your first check. So August goes into September. Um, September, I had 45,000 views, which is a step up from 15 from the previous month. And that translates to 189,000 minutes, 3,100 hours of, you know, watch time. Um, and I was lucky enough to have my highest grossing video um, during that month, which was my Smackalicious Seafood Pasta video. That blew up. I got like 15,000, I think 15,000 views alone on that one. Um, that was my biggest video that I've done thus far um, and it earned me the most money I made almost a hundred dollars off that video in itself so for that month for, for the month of September and 45,000 um, views and 3100 watch hours I made three hundred and twenty one dollars and sixty nine cents so when I received my first check it was for a grand total of three hundred and fifty eight dollars and thirty two cents which is for me phenomenal um, it just let me know that it's real this is real like I received a check from YouTube in my bank account for three hundred and fifty eight dollars if I did that and I could take that multiply my hustle and double that and then double that and then next thing you know I turn that 300 into maybe 300,000 for the year if I can just keep going keep staying consistent and doing all of that I know I can grow um, with you guys help I know I can grow you guys have been so wonderful in watching the ads um, I tried to cut it down I just cut the ads down to no more than four um i add per four minutes um depending on the length of the video if it's like 30 minutes or more after a certain after so many ads i'm gonna just make them less and less frequent but yeah i so grateful for you guys to be watching the ads because that's how i get paid through google adsense is by you guys watching the ads um if it's a very long ad, like two minutes or whatever, as long as you watch 30 seconds of it, that's all I need y'all to do. And if you see little banners or something, if you're watching on your phone and you see little banners, click on the banners, you know, read it a little bit and then click back into the video. Um, and that'll help. Um, and if you don't want to watch the ads, I'm, I still love you anyway, because you're still tuning in, you're still engaging with me, and that's fine as well. Um, but yes, my grand total for the month of September was $358.32, and that was for a total of 60,000 views. Um, now, the analytics of it all, it differs. Each video ad rate that you get paid is different, but, you know, I just think there's people that get 60,000 views for one video. So like, what if they, like, it's possible to make like $300 for a video. You times that by 30 videos a month, that's like $9,000. That's how I think about it. I'm into numbers and running numbers and calculations. Okay, so I'm about to go full steam ahead, you guys. Um, I'm so inspired and motivated right now. Um, and probably in six months or so, I'll do another video like this, show where I'm at then because I personally don't mind being transparent because I would love for some of the bigger channels even though I know they probably can't I don't want to I would love to see exactly what they're making so I know what is possible like what is actually possible um, a lot of people don't like to talk about their finances and their money um, 
I like to be transparent. Um, this is what I made for that. Um, I have good credit. Um, I'm very financially responsible. Um, yeah. So, I would just like to see more people do videos like this. Because I want to know what can, what is it possible for me to make as a mukbang girl. I want to know at 20, if you make, if you get 25,000 views per video, how much are you making? How much, how much is it possible to make out here? That's what I want to know. So, if I know, if I want to know it, I know you guys want to know it. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you watched it all the way to this point, leave a, uh, either a money emoji or a bag of money or something has to do with money down in the comments below. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow, um, on my house tour, my car tour. No, I was playing. But when, in the event that, I'm not even going to say in the event that it happens. When I, I'm able to get an, a, a nice apartment nice car or a nice house I'm, I am going to do a house tour car tour all that stuff because we're family and you guys have helped me get to, to that place so I'm going to share with you guys so until we eat we're not even eating until we meet again peace